everyone, Wyland here and welcome to another episode of Wyland's World. Today we're going to look at a PvE based Quetzal platform. This is going to be right after the Redwood um, biome with the Titanosaurus update. So this is current stuff that I'm going to be doing here. And um, we're going to make a PvE platform on a Quetzal that can handle all of your PvE needs. We're going to do that right now. So with this, Quet this Quetzal platform, um, I have the floor lowered. If you wanted to know how I did that, I have another video up that shows you how to lower the foundations on the floor. Uh, with the recent changes, I guess they're recent since I haven't been playing in a few months, but you can no longer make the foundations float. As you can see here, I have just um, ceiling tiles coming out from the foundations. I got two foundations right in the center of the platform, which I, I lowered those, and, and that method is still valid. Uh, it still works, so just check out that video if you want to know how to do that. What that basically does is makes the foundation pretty much flush with the platform. I decided to make this this build a multi-purpose build. Let me go and open these doors. Alright, so this is what this this uh, Quetzal platform looks like. Not exactly the prettiest thing, but it has a lot of a lot of function to it. Uh, if you saw my other video with the Quetzal trap. Uh, it had a similar setup with the gates. They didn't have doors on them. I just put these doors on it. I don't even know why. I just felt like making an enclosure in here. You don't have to put the doors on them. That could definitely save you more um, items. Because right now, with all the stuff I have on here, I'm one item away from being max. And I put the ramp right here. I like to carry this guy around with me. Um, all around good. Harvesting. And plus the black, you know, the smithy table. That's a good little thing to carry around. Uh, but <clears throat> you don't have to have these gates. In fact, if you take these gates off, possibly extend this wall that you see going up and make a roof or a ceiling. Ceiling tiles going across to the other wall. The reason why you would want to do that is it's easier to catch the Quetzal with a ceiling going across. Or for that matter, you could put another gate going across. I mean, it's, it's basically you just need to, to make this gap up here a little bit smaller. Uh, but you can catch them with this current setup right here. I, I'll show you in, a, in just a little bit how I do it. Uh, you just have more room for error. Uh, with it coming out the top with this this setup but I have campfires got my forge and my alchemy or not alchemy sorry mortar and pestle same thing over on this side got my bed uh, these gates you right there I have a fence foundation I put that a fence foundation on both sides to just to help me line this gate up these two gates on the side um, you don't have to do that you can you can eyeball it if you want to I, I eyeballed the, the front gate and the back gate if you're gonna do this setup that I have you need to make sure you do the front gate first and then the back gate and then do the side the side gate and this side gate reason is if you put these other side gates on first with that fence foundation right there it's going to cause all kinds of problems trying to put this gate up because it's going to, to go all different directions and not line up the way you want it to so, since I'm on a primitive server right now you know I don't really have options for all the the other stuff. But you you could 
definitely put you know your fabricator on here and you can put a lot of different things you can get rid of these uh, campfires and put on a you know the industrial oven or whatever I mean there's a lot of different options you can do uh, this is a we've got one two uh, three across and then one two three so it was three by three not too big I could have extended it a little bit further by putting more tiles out that way I decided that would just be kind of an overkill so I did not go that route I decided to keep it just a box all right this is a pretty simple build didn't really take me too long to put it together um, you know, in the future, I definitely will do a few different builds. I kind of want to build up my Quetzal, Quetzal army here so I can make more platforms. Kind of why I have this multi-function that, that um, this platform has. Guy keeps talking every time I go by him. Can also fly this. Can fly this with the gate closed. See that I am not exposed at all right there. It's gonna be a little. You can't go into first person because, well, kind of. No, you can't do it. Because that's all you see is the door. But you can go in third person. This is gonna be my multi-purpose Quetzal. PVE platform. Go ahead and try to find a Quetzal and see if this works. All right, so we're gonna see if this works to capture this Quetzal, but the same way we did it before. Alright, so we got the Quetzal in the in the box here. Um, you can do this a little bit easier with making a connecting the two walls I have right there with the ceiling tiles all the way across, and it would be a lot easier to snag them in there. But uh, as you can see, this Quetzal trap works. Um, I got him trapped and knock him out now. But I'm not going to because it's level 70 something, and I think maybe somebody might want to tame it. Uh, but I was just checking out to see if this trap would work. So this um, Quetzal platform has the ability to capture Quetzals and has the ability to uh, do your normal PVE tap. So that's going to do it for this video. This has been a PVE multi-purpose platform saddle for the Quetzal. Uh, this is an official primitive PVE server. Uh, you have your ability to capture Quetzals, you have your forges, and you have your campfires mortar and pestle and you can carry around your beaver for your blacksmith table uh, you can always remove lots of things in this to kind of customize it how you want to for whatever you need for whatever you're doing uh, it doesn't really cost much it's not going to screw up a lot of things to say take out that wall right there or take out that wall over there uh, remove these campfires and boom you can do a whole new configuration on this setup uh, make sure that you uh, lower your foundation because it makes it so much better whenever you do that uh, So you don't have that big bulky foundation sticking up in the middle um, And you know check out that video if you don't know how to do that If you have any questions comments or concerns leave them below like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel uh, Our next videos will hopefully have more Quetzal platforms. I need to go tame some more uh, So I can get those going and we're also going to be working on the tree house very soon I've got three tree platforms up and I'm going to start putting foundations down uh, in the next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.